Welcome everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us for today's webinar. My name is Sunny Makhija and I'm a senior insight sales specialist at Crave Infotech. Uh, today we are presenting on Fury enablement for digitizing plant maintenance process, which will be presented by Shrikant Nistane from Crave Infotech. Uh, Shrikant is a digital transformation enthusiast experienced in SAP Digital Core, uh, enterprise asset management, enterprise mobility and cloud platform. He has 27 years of industry experience helping organization in wide range experience with technology and technological changes for multiple line of business. And uh, now without any further ado, I would hand over uh, to Shrikant to start the presentation. Uh, over to you, Shrikant. Thank you. Thank you, Sunny. Hello, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. <clears throat> and uh, I'm glad to uh, share some insight about uh, the Fiori in plant maintenance. This is how I look like. I'm also on to the video today. And uh, this is good if you can bump into each other. Uh, at least we'll know who I am. So a little bit about Crave Infotech. <clears throat> so what we are passionate about. We are passionate about digital transformation through or using SAP Intelligent Enterprise. So that is uh, basically ECC or S4 HANA. Uh, I, I want to make sure that you understand that whatever we are discussing works with ECC and S4 HANA both. SAP Cloud Platform, uh, most of our applications also works standalone. That means they don't need Cloud Platform, but uh, we recommend Cloud Platform in certain specific situations and we can talk about them. Uh, if I don't cover, you can always reach out to us and we can discuss those. Then our prepackaged solutions <clears throat> and that's what we'll talk about it today a lot uh, zebra mobile computing of course our application works with other devices also ipad ios android or uh, uh, windows so they can work with ipad any windows tablets uh, but we work very closely with zebra and i'll talk why that is important and then geo enablement from here technology or google map so we combine all these five things in the area of warehouse management, enterprise asset management, supply, field service and supply chain. So today's focus is enterprise asset management. But if you would like to know more about what we do, how we can help in warehouse, intelligent warehouse and field sub service and supply chain, we'll be very happy to talk to you about that. So little bit of history of Crave Infotech. We are a 13 year old company. Uh, we have three key partnerships. We have partnership with SAP. We have P cell. Cell means we can sell any licenses. We, we co-innovate. So that's a build partnership. That's how we have all these prepackaged solutions. And then we have uh, services partnership. So SAP has a services wing and they reach out to us whenever they have specific needs. We are also Zebra ISV. And a reseller and we are also here technology isv and reseller uh, global presence headquartered in north america offices in europe africa and asia so our uh, uh, development center is located in india that helps us to keep our cost optimum while not compromising on the quality a very short list of our customers <clears throat> you can see here utilities um, oil and gas, water utility, gas utility, electric utility, then energy, uh, mining, chemical, retail, companies like Siemens, manufacturing, high-tech manufacturing, um, a lot of uh, pharma, life sciences, healthcare, um, and finally, companies like Adani, which are uh, in almost every business unit you can think of. So we work with them uh, closely on several solutions and fronts. Again, partnership with Zebra, Amazon Web Service, SAP, Google, and here at Economy. Now let's deep dive into the typical to uh, today's key topic. So enterprise asset management, how we can use Fiori. Uh, we have Fiori everywhere. And why do we need uh, specialized Fiori apps. There are so many. SAP has given thousands of apps. 
um, for Fiori with S4, right? Some of them are also available with ECC. But <clears throat> we're gonna talk, but plant maintenance is always special and it needs special attention. And we're gonna talk about that today. So uh, this slide basically tells you what's the dilemma and what's the gap between the maintenance engineer, maintenance planner and plant head. So maintenance engineer says, I spend most of the time on data collection and data entry. This is the guy who is out in the field. Most of my decisions are based on the experience and gut feeling. I follow what my planner has asked me to do. And the maintenance planner says, I don't know if all my assets, data are complete, my equipment performance, risk and maintenance data are sitting in silos. I still follow the traditional practices of time-based planning. I use system to generate only MIS reports. I spend a lot of time preparing them, so hardly get time to analyze. And the plant head says, I want to make my production scheduling decision based on the equipment health and reliability. I want to optimize my cost of production. Maintenance budget decisions are based on the non-scientific methods. I want to add up digital technologies like IoT and machine learning to reduce, look at the, the complete difference in, <clears throat> uh, in, in the levels of thought process and where they are. Uh, plant head wants to go full blown, uh, I shouldn't say wants to go, expecting decision made based upon quality and quantitative data and to be state of the art while the other people who are really executing, they don't have those tools available. So uh, in order to, to solve this dilemma, Crave Infotech has come up with an in asset, intelligent asset management maturity model. So everybody wants to go from reactive to predictive, right? Depends upon where you are. So reactive is basically, you might be on just on a piece of paper or just started the digital journey. Preventive is perform maintenance at regular interval based upon observations of abnormalities. So you already have seen <clears throat> some level of uh, activity planning. Condition-based is continuously observe the status of assets and react to the predefined conditions and events. So this can be IoT or SCADA. And then the finally predictive is apply advanced analytics of operational business data to help determine the condition of specific equipment and predict when to perform the maintenance. So everybody wants to go from one to four, but a lot of time they don't know where they are. That's where we can help. We can help to find out where you are on this maturity curve. We have mapped this slightly different way uh, so that you can understand where you are and maybe map out some of the tools. So first step is to keep to keep to be able to keep record of uh, equipment master bomb order processing and different processes of the maintenance and that's why we need an ERP right so that's your SAP if you don't have SAP we will recommend to use SAP it can be for your internal or external so this can be service or internal maintenance once you have the system of record in place, you want to make sure you are acquiring data digitally. Now, first step for that can be field mobility, offline, real-time connectivity, uh, real-time updates, label printing if you need to print something outside. And that's where the mobile workforce management, and we, this is what we are going to discuss today uh, from Crave Infotech. So managing your assets, calibration, facility management, rounds management, all of that comes into picture. If you want to go one step further, then IoT. Uh, <clears throat> IoT can be as simple as bringing in data from your existing SCADA, or uh, you have smart devices out in the field and they are sending the details. And it can be even smarter with the Delta, um, which is basically doing the analysis with the edge technology right at the source where the uh, sensing or the data collection is happening and only sending the uh, right, uh, sending the analysis and the events uh, to the IoT uh, so that we can start looking at them and not flooding the databases. And finally, you can have a collaboration uh, between different constituents of your equipment. So if you are on the user end, then you are basically getting or collaborating with the manufacturer, the distributor, and that those type of networks are available 
and one of that network is available from SAP is the Asset Intelligence Network, so that's called AIS. So these are different ways. I'm sure there are other ways, but these are the ones which are available uh, easily now for data acquisition. Once you have acquired the data, you would like to make sure the data is analyzed correctly. For that, you have several tools available for risk analysis. RCM, Reliability Centered Maintenance, FMEA, Failure Mode and Effective Analysis, Risk Based, based Inspection and Root Cause Analysis. And there are tools available. And one of the tools from SAP is the ASPM, Asset Strategy and Performance Management. And finally, once you have the analytics done, uh, sorry, uh, once you have the risks perf is performed, and uh, then you can go for the predictive analytics where you basically do the failure mode analysis, fingerprint management, indicator forecasting, and rule-based alerts. All this stuff, what it's gonna do is it's gonna produce something to do, corrective actions. And all those corrective actions and recommendations can be fed back to the mobile, again back to the mobile, and the cycle starts. And that's how um, we basically help you to map where you are on the maturity curve and what are the best tools and uh, available. So uh, if we have to map this to our tool set, right? So it starts from flexible scheduling. So there are several tools available in the marketplace. Crave Infotech has developed a very simple tool which will help um, you to use those tools if you think MRS tools like MRSs are overkill for you. We can use the flexible scheduling. We have flexible dispatch. Uh, then comes the map-based tracking. So we have a uh, connected I connected assets and IoT solution, which helps you to track your movable and immovable assets like vehicles, people out in the field, and also do the assignment on the map. Planning Workbench, this is a specialized Fiori-based tool developed for planners to plan their work on the fly. <clears throat> and then approval, so that notification workout approval, we'll be able to see most of them today in the demo. And then after that, then the, those orders or notification goes to the mobile application and they do the backend completion and comes back to SAP. So this is kind of an end-to-end uh, mapping of application. In the mobile, we have calibration, field service management, planning workbench, work clearance management, so managing your permits. And we talked about scheduling, dispatch, asset inventory, and inspection. So there are several other apps available which are using Fury as a framework. So you can see none of these are available in standard SAP Fury stack, either in S4 or in ECC, uh, ECC. That's why you need specialized tools to mobilize the plant maintenance uh, in, in, into the industry. To summarize what we and how we can help. Uh, so we do implement SAP plant maintenance, service management, customer service modules end to end in ECC or S4 both. We do implement SAP work management for ISCCS if you are a utility customer. <clears throat> we do implement SAP work manager, asset manager, AIN, all of those standard SAP application. In addition to that, we have prepackaged solutions for preventive, corrective, and breakdown. We call it C maintenance. C stands for CRAVE, so maintenance solution. Facility maintenance, calibration, we have a separate application where specially designed um, and and for regulated industry like life sciences, pharma, chemical, this application is gone through several uh, FDA approvals for the plants, so it's already um, already validated. <clears throat> and then we talked about flexible scheduling dispatch. We have asset inventory and inspection. In addition to that, the key differentiator between most of the other partners and us is we not only implement standard SAP solution, we have our own prepackage solution, but we also do barcode and RFID enablement. So you have one single um, uh, place to go. So some of the key features of the 
integrated plant maintenance plant platform. It's available on premise and cloud offering. Both the offerings are available. Single sign-on is out of the box, integrated with SAP fully. Integration ready for non-SAP systems also. This is out of the box product, configurable to customize their needs. So <clears throat> you can basically uh, configure the user interface based upon um, configuration parameters in the back end. So when we come and implement, there will be a configuration table in the back end. You can move the fields, you can disappear the field, you can hide the field, you can add the field from the back end to the user interface on the mobile. ISO 27001 ISO certified, so it's already secured. Uh, SAP and Zebra validation is done. What is mean by that? Sorry about the typo, it's SAP. When we say Zebra validation, that means all of our applications are validated for memory leak, they're validated for battery usage, they're validated for integration, they're validated for user interface, and they are validated that the application works very well with the mobile. So all of that is already taken care of uh, for you. Role-based access is available. So you can have separate access for uh, field technicians and different access uh, for the planner, scheduler, manager, and the approvers, and also the operations people when they create notification. There is audit trail available. There are validation and and most important is we follow standard SAP architecture. We do not add any layer. Uh, we do not give you any platform. So tomorrow, even if we are not there, you should be able to maintain your applications. You don't have to rely on us. Uh, there are many other partners and companies who provide, uh, they call low code platform, but then you are stuck with that. If tomorrow you don't pay for AMC and they stop uh, uh, serving you, and the license lapses, your application will stop working. That's what uh, people don't tell. <clears throat> now this is what is the app configuration. You can configure the app, you can configure the screen, you can configure users. This is how our app configuration looks like. You have user log logs, dynamic menu, and also the NPT configuration. Let's go and look at the real application. Stop sharing. Second. So here, this is our, I'm going to rephrase this because I, I think this has been idle for a while. Okay. This is our uh, maintenance workforce or <clears throat> mobile workforce management uh, dashboard where now because I am administrator here, so I have access to every tile basically. So what we have done is we brought in 20% of the tiles, 20% uh, of the transaction, uh, which are used 80% times. It's a very simple rule because in plant metal there are many transactions, but we brought in 20% transactions which are key and daily used on the mobile. So if you look at this, uh, this will look like this on a mobile phone. This will look like this on a tablet, okay? So this is responsive. They, you can do this from anywhere. I'm gonna close this. <clears throat> so initially it's assets. So that's create functional location, change functional location, create equipment. So equipment functional location, um, work center. So your master data is taken care of. Then the notification, create maintenance notification, service notification, chain notifications. Then we have approvals. So approval of notification, approval of work order, and you have single or mass. And then comes the work execution. So this is the mobile part, C maintenance and rounds manager. We also have rounds manager for uh, specific predefined inspections. Then you have work order planning. So this is, the, this is mainly for planners. <coughs> work order scheduling. You can see here we have flexible scheduling, uh, scheduling overview, uh, flexible dispatch, ISU dispatch. So there is a specific tool built for ISU too. Uh, printing of the work order, processing of the work order, reporting, uh, order to bomb, history, and 
there are several um, KPI reports, MTTR, MTBR, breakdown analysis, cost analysis, object statistics, and damage analysis. So all of that at one place. And whoever is authorized every tile, and it follows the standard SAP authorization, and each tile can be assigned to individual role, and they will only see what is assigned to them. So let's start, let's create a notification. Okay? So we are going to create, a, so these are all, again, there is a configuration whereby you might have 10 notification type, and I'm only assigned to three, but you have only enabled one on the notification. There is a configuration stack um, in our <coughs> uh, tool, or when it comes to your application, whereby you can say, Shrikant is only assigned for one, although he's authorized for three in SAP, and I can only see one. So today, of course, I see all. So we are gonna create a breakdown notification. Okay, notification for demo. Uh, I can create, I can choose functional location. You can also see, probably you can realize, you can also scan if your equipments are barcoded. So they don't have to go through all this selection process. So what I'm gonna do is I like equipment number 27. So when I search, it should bring in, it's a fuzzy search. It brought in 27. <clears throat> functional location automatically comes up. Get the planner group can get the, now I can search by text. I like mechanic, reported by, I'm reporting this today. I can select priority, I can add notes. Then, basically the notification is created. So, this created notifications, um, so once the notification is created, I can go into the notification approval. You will see the notification for demo appears here. I can look at the notification. This is created for equipment number 27. I can look at the details of the equipment if needed. Uh, I can see the task because there are no, I can create, uh, I can approve, reject, or I can also, you can see we have provided full user status menu like exactly like in the in the SAP, so I can change the statuses if that is my process. Uh, again, this is how it will look like on a mobile phone or a tablet. This is how it will look like on a tablet. Tablet, it automatically adjusts. It's um, and this is how it will look like on a mobile phone. So it's fully responsive. <clears throat> so I'm going to approve this. Then um, I can create work order from the notification. <clears throat> so this is already approved. I can see the notification list. And uh, I can see, see this is another functionality we have implemented is uh, I can see the notifications which are assigned to me. So I'm going to stick to the open. And from this open notification, I can basically create a work order. I can change them. I can create a work order. So let's create a work order. Uh, this will come by default based upon the parameters. I can change the work order priority. <coughs> Next. And now I'm creating an operation. Operation 10, control key, M01, and then, <coughs> so this is real time, real, real time application <coughs> connected with our SAP system. And uh, you can see the order is created. So, so I can I, I use this to create an order, and then uh, let me go back. Uh, 
So this is our basically the whole, all the tiles. So once the order is created, I can go into the, so whoever is assigned to order approval, they should be able, able to see that work order. See here, this is the work order we have just created. So the same equipment. <coughs> and then um, I can also see the notification detail. I should be, sorry, something is not happening today. Uh, I can do more planning. So I had operation 10. Right, and mechanic is assigned to that operation. I can assign materials. So I can, uh, nothing is assigned. Uh, planner should go through the planning, but I can do the approval. Let me take you to the uh, planning workbench. So we have created notification. We have approved the notification. We have created a work order. And now I'm gonna go and do some planning for that work order. So I'm opening another, uh, another session so that I can show you differently. I'm going to go to the planning workbench. If you see here, this is my workbench. Here, I'm a planner. I can see what's going on, how many are planned, how many are unplanned. I can see the statuses, order by statuses, order by order types, order by priority. So I have that and my people, how they are stacked. I have everything at my fingertip. Um, I can look at all the key transactions for work order, notifications, reports. I know where I am. If there are any messages for me, they will appear. I have my settings. Everything is at my fingertip. And then it will give me the list of all the orders. When you go into the orders, I can see the operations. And if I know who are the people, I can write assign there, right there. I don't have to go. If you are a smaller operation or you know who should be working on it, I can assign them. This also becomes my easy cock cockpit for um, selecting and releasing work orders, confirming them, partially confirming them if you want to utilize. Again, you can hide these, depends upon the role, no problem. Now, <clears throat> this is my work order just now created. And then this work order, I want to see before I'm as a planner, I want to know what's exactly going on. Am I supposed to make the changes here? So first of all, I'll be able to see uh, the work order header details. I can see there is a notification created for this. I don't have any permits. What's my mean time to failure MTTR for this equipment so that I can see the details at that location? What are the characteristics? What are the list of all the orders ever created? What's the list of measuring points for this equipment? And I can see real time what's the plan versus actual for this order also. In addition to this, if I'm a new guy and I want to know what type of equipment is this, what needs to be done, it also gives me augmented reality overview of for this, uh, uh, for this e equipment and what spare parts are involved. So, I can basically, this all can be automated. We can see multiple steps. So I'm gonna play this. And this will tell me that these are the different parts, right? Something is going on here. Something is not right. Okay, now play all steps and this is how it will show him what are the different parts, how does visually look like so that they can make right decision of planning during the planning phase itself. The same, we also make it available on the mobile for our mobile users to use. Okay, so then if in case, the planner, this is a shutdown, people don't have, all the people don't have mobiles, and you want to print some of this information. But it's not just a normal SAP printing. Normal SAP gives you an ability to print the shop paper for operation. We provide you more than that. You can print the notification attachment, you can print the PRTs, you can print the permits, 
you can print the functional location attachment and the long text details and also you can print equipment because a lot of your documents might be in the equipment long text they might not be in the operation so we help you to create a complete package uh, out of this printing tool now i want to go and see what's going on and i'm ready to plan because i have seen uh, all the kpis i know i have to work on this um, and then i have only one operation i can add more operations i can even copy from a task list existing task list let's see if that works <clears throat> okay i can copy from an existing task list and then that will bring in all the operation related to that task list sure just slow hmm. interesting let's see maybe doesn't have the data something is not right okay but it should append uh, i can add new operation um, i if i know somebody i can assign them directly there i can add the work to people this is how basically i do the planning i can define the end date start date i can add material now material also i can bring it from multiple sources it can be standard sap or i can bring it from bill of by by bill of material by mits by catalog i can also integrate with your third party material systems if needed uh, there are objects tools so these are your prts attachments we allow attaching anything you can define permits relationship so you can and again this is a very crowded screen but you are planner can do the planning even on mobile device we don't recommend that there is a lot of real estate uh, sorry limited real estate but they can definitely do it on a tablet or a desktop um, they can always do it <clears throat> so that's our planning workbench once the planning is done then basically it will be available in the for work order approval so here again work order approval the person who is responsible they will be able to see work orders in their area depends upon their authorization they can select that and approve that work order after reviewing the details or if they have if they can, they can reject they can change again they can change the status uh, if there is a specific process so we have looked at create notification approve notification create work order approve work order now this is ready to go out in the field to work and that's where these two applications comes into picture c maintenance that is the application which basically this is for person out in the field uh, his his or her summary of the dashboard uh, notification list work order list equipment hierarchy map so let's start with um hierarchy first so hierarchy basically shows me exactly how i see the equipment in the back end so i want to see location hierarchy this is how our ih01 transaction looks like right and but what i want to do is i want to also see equipment hierarchy along with that can i see that i can collapse it collapse by all so i am able to see the equipment we are also now adding the material and the bill of material assembly to this so that you can see it should be available very soon i know i am close to this equipment i can even scan it okay i don't have to go all the way if i scan it it will pop it up and then i can create a notification i can create a work order or i can say show me on the map where it is who no address available for this we'll pick up one so uh, i can create notification directly from here it takes me the same screen what we have seen before so you can create the uh, equipment uh, sorry notification work order or see the details of the equipment from the hierarchy itself i can do the same from the map so this map 
should bring in I'm a little bit concerned but yeah no so it shows all the of course uh, they are at distant locations so that we can see easily on the map so these are all equipments um, and then I can click on them I can see where they are I can get directions I can create work order from the map so you have or create notification directly and of course this will be configured for your specific need so you can create uh, notification and the uh, work order from hierarchy or map um, now I can see notification list so this application is designed for different scenarios one is if you have a small plant and uh, you have few people and you don't want to have uh, anybody to do uh, scheduling in that case all of your people can see the orders they can see the open notification um, once I can select one and say I want to assign it to myself and that will disappear from other people's list that will go into the assigned notification list and these assigned notifications I can basically work on them again we have seen I can create work order I can create uh, I can see the history equipment history complete history of the equipment I can at this equipment these are the orders created these are the notifications created these are the attachments I can see everything about that uh, equipment uh, from the notification itself <clears throat> similarly same processes for work order I'll be able to see the work order which are assigned to me I can see the uh, equipment details from the work order so technician knows what's going on I can see the notification details which is attached to that work order. Uh, I can see all the planned operations. So in this case, in this operation, this is mainly inspection. So you will see uh, multiple inspection operations. They both are break down. Uh, here there are multiple. I can start them, stop them. It captures the time. I can do the material confirmation. I can see the history, I can see the attachment, and once this is ready to complete, I can also do the, uh, let me see this, and I can also add operation while I am here. And finally, I can complete the work order. No permits here. Yeah, I can complete the work order and I can capture the time. So um, I know we are, there is a lot to discuss, a lot to show in such a short period of time. So also we have similarly, we have rounds manager application, which is specially designed for capturing the measurements um, in, in, in the um, plant. The key difference between all the other applications here is you are, the person is guided and he's walked through every measurement he has to take. So again, it's completely responsive. Temperature, temperature reading can be taken. Uh, we'll also download the current readings for him. Um, we'll also allow him to uh, capture the location so that uh, you can verify that he's exactly where he should be. He's not just taking reading from the office and not doing anything. So all that stuff is already captured. So that was a quick view of our demo. Um, there is a lot to see. With that, uh, I will go back to the presentation deck. Uh, Sunny, you have some poll questions, right? Yes, uh, thank you, Shrikant. And I would just take 30 seconds of the people uh, who have attended this webinar. I'm just launching the poll questions and it will be in front of you right away. So please go through it and we will be uh, get back to Shrikant again.
I think Srikant, you can just take over from here and we I just leave the poll open till we close this session. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So we, I think we uh, walked through most of the stuff. Uh, just wanted to, so this is what we have seen, planning workbench, augmented reality, preventive maintenance. So see maintenance, one application can handle preventive, breakdown. Uh, we also have special application for asset inspection, which will allow you basically to take the location so that you can capture the lat long and use into your GIS system. So this acts twice, two, two fold. One is asset inventory and another is asset inspection. Uh, and you can create inventory and then you can do the inspection. You can also take picture. So you can take picture. You can take uh, geolocation and capture that for your system. Uh, this is our uh, IoT connected vehicle assets uh, application whereby you can track the, it's basically vehicle tracking, track your vehicle locations. There are several other features including route optimization, route creation, route optimization, all of that is included in this. Success story. Finally, what we have done is just to make your life easy, we have created some Amplify packages working with SAP. And we define specific scope and the cost associated with that, very competitive. Uh, and we define timeline, scope, and the cost. So it's for plant maintenance, calibration mobile application, and standalone plant maintenance package offering. Finally, uh, this comes to a closure. There is a lot I can speak. Probably I can continue speaking for another couple of hours. But uh, we'll open up for questions. You can uh, type your question in Q&A or in the chat. Uh, we are going to open up the line and you can also speak. No problem. Anybody has any questions? You can just unmute and talk. We also do uh, no, no obligatory um, asset management maturity evaluation. So if you are interested, please let us know and we'll be happy to work with your organization to do that. So Fiori is our core. We have basically created all these templates. Uh, these applications are also available on SAP App Store. Uh, if you type Crave Infotech, you should be able to see all of our apps. And uh, um, they are ready to go. They have lot, multiple success stories. Uh, they are configurable, they are responsive, they are validated, and uh, uh, will definitely we guarantee reduction in the uh, reduction in the uh, errors and improvement in the operational efficiency. Okay, Sunny. Yes, I think there is no question. So we should close the session. Thank you everyone for joining today's session. And if you have any question or concern, you can directly contact us at shrikant.craveinfotech.com or you can directly reach at 844-272-8348. Thank you everyone.